In this video, we're going to be looking at the th third type of loop known as the do while loop. So, a do while loop is uh, is um, is actually similar to the while loop, except that this one will be run at least once. The do while loop is another version of Objective Objective C loop that allows you to perform repetitive uh, task when you're not sure about how many times you will need the loop to a particular expression. So when you're not sure how many times you will need the to loop through a particular expression, and this is when you will need a do while loop, but you want the loop to be uh, perform at least one. So the difference between a while loop, and pay attention to this, the difference between a while loop that we looked uh, through previously and a do while loop is that a while loop executes zero or more times while a do while loop executes one or more times. The do while loop will always execute at least once. So, and this is the very important concept. Consider this example. You want a user uh, to enter a password into a system. So, in reality, you will allow them to enter it at least the first time. Then you would loop through all the password in the database to find a match. And then if not, if the password does, is not accepted, the loop will repeat again and um, the loop will repeat asking them to enter it again. So if you think about this very carefully, if you use, if you ask somebody to enter um, a, a password into a system um, and then if they fail, you want to use a loop to keep repeating the message for them to enter it again. If they fail, enter the pass uh, password again. So you're using a loop to actually uh, asking them to enter this the password but if you use a while loop that means the the loop may, may never be run but with a do while loop at least they will get a chance to enter the password at least once then if they get it wrong then uh, so let me actually show you how this works in a program and uh, we're going to look at that in the um, uh, in the next video. So uh, before I go, I just want to point out that when you know the first, uh, the starting point and the ending point of a loop, the for loop is the best to use. When you want to run a loop zero or more times, it's best to use a while loop. And if you want to, uh, if you want a loop that does, you don't know how many times it's going to be run, how many times it's going to loop through all the uh, values, then, but you want it to be run at least once, then it's best to use a do while loop. When we're going to be right doing the program and solution videos, I'm going to show you a couple of, exam a couple of examples how this thing actually work in real life. So uh, in the next video, I'll show you the uh, good uh, example of using a do while loop. See you then.